Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so today I've managed to get, uh, I've shown the automated head and shoulders working. Now I'm about to show you the inverted head and shoulders. So if I go over to uh, Google and looking for what that means, um, one of the mentions from somebody uh, said that uh, it's a, a sign of a um, of a market bottoming and uh, forms after and the completion makes a trend in turn and then it may continue to uh, go up from there so it can be uh, it's a reversal so I'll let you figure that out but I just want to show you this is the same components, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and then the neckline. Volume's a factor, and uh, let me just show you some of them. So we have here, I believe ADA is Cardone, so I'll just take the um, last iteration of this. So here we see somewhat of a head and shoulders. Now, again, we have our green and uh, and blue dots here, so looks like we have uh, trying to figure this one out. I guess we got a shoulder, head, shoulder, another head, shoulder. So it isn't a downturn, but you can see it's not consistent, and and, and as I've shown before, it can break down uh, no different than any other. Uh, no other uh, indicator. So we have here head, shoulder, I believe. This is this is sort of um, you 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 can maybe see that this is the expected uh, down uh, expected move, and that's what it was uh, on that down move. So it did turn at that point. So there might be some validity to here, as it it, it predict it, it did exactly what was supposed to happen where. Um, we have this head and shoulder on a down move and then it's going to turn maybe if I was to uh, bring up the charts um, we might be able to see these uh, moves but there's some predictability there or validity um, let's see BTG um, BTG this one um, so it does hit it and then the downtrend continues. So you can see um, that it, it does hit that level. Um, actually, no. See, that it's very unpredictable. But uh, it's still useful somewhat. Let me just see here. Again, um, it just continues going down. So... These are these are really hard to to gauge Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, pretty close, but yeah, these these are tough to gauge. Um, but again, if I was to choose, let's say Ethereum uh, at different points, at different iterations. See, here is where the expected move uh head shoulder yeah it didn't it didn't and if i go down to the latest do a comparison yeah it didn't break but it did break the um neckline which can be used i think um for some predictability there uh, but you, when you look at these over and over again, you, you start to develop your own sort of trends. Once again, here breaks and just completely collapses. But again, uh, but again, this breaking of the trend line is very interesting. Did it prematurely? Um, yeah, it's tough to say if this is very useful, um, 
but the trend line is is where it's at and um it 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 seems to be a classic market reversal let me just check the other one just to make so this one this one's a definite market reversal but it does it prematurely so you know my coding's not right or um just doesn't really eventually it breaks out but it just takes so many moves to do it but i think there's more predictable um indicators but i'm gonna add it still but doesn't it's not as frequent as as a regular head and shoulders um but the inverted does it, it is there so just thought i would show that and uh we'll uh talk to you later